get back. Oh boy. Ah, okay. oh, this picks up where we left I get off. The whole location and time part. Right. We were never really separated, but trapped in the same ward from the start. Yes. Time, on the other hand, was the reverse. We weren't awake and moving all at the same time, but at separate times. And let's believe that we were. <sighs> but so what? What do you mean, that so what? just means I doubt you even more now. Oh, boy. With this, your alibis are completely gone. Not necessarily. We in the same places, but at different times, then anyone could have done it. Whoever killed Mira and Junpei is one of us. Yes, exactly. The most suspicious. He's gonna say Carlos. You two, Diana oh, never mind. and Sigma. No, I guess alibis are necessary for you guys. Being fakes, you could move around since the rules wouldn't have applied to you. Um. I already told you before that neither one of us are fakes. We transported to this timeline via that device over there. Which we already explained to you. Go ahead and turn it on then. Can't. Yeah. Well. We can't. And why not? After the transport needs to recharge. has been used once, it won't work for a while. It takes at least 10 months for the energy to fully charge again. Would you cut that shit out? Oh, wait. If you use it, it won't work for 10 months? So, if it's never been used, it'll definitely run, right? Huh. What are you plotting? Hey, this doesn't change the fact that you're still among the suspects. True. Well, there's no question with you. We all know you killed Akane. We saw the video footage of you doing it. Arguably, like before, it was self -defense. I wasn't the one you saw kill Akane. It was the me who was originally in this history. Hey, asshole. Go ahead. Go ahead and spout more crap. I'll shoot you. I, it's the truth. It's the truth. I swear. It seems like Akane and I found Junpei's body in the pantry in this history. Junpei's killer was unknown. There we go. But Akane assumed it was me. And then I killed her in self-defense. And she cut off my hand. And that's how you lost your left hand? I can show you the wound if you still doubt me. So... You're saying it was all in self-defense. Kind of, yeah. You attacked Akane because she was about to kill you. Hey, isn't that enough, Eric? Could you please put down the gun for a second? So we can all talk rationally? He's different from how he was in the other history. There was something off about him then. Yeah, the eyes were red. Is he different person yes uh, fine why don't you just show me this shift thing you're claiming you can do it's not something I can show all right wait you're going back I'd like to check something before I do though Diana how exactly do you use this transporter device it won't work for 10 months. But just tell me. I, I know. I'm asking if we were to use it. Well, there are these slots. You need to put the cards in the right order. The nucleus will turn on. And then... Okay, I got it. Thanks. Sorry to make you wait, Eric. <laughs> Taking me for a fool. I'm not, actually. I have to save them. 
I need to go save Akane and Junpei. What the hell? But they're already... Yes, they're dead in this history. But there's another history they're where they're still alive. alive in the other one. So I'm going back to save them. It's something that only I can do. I told you. Next time you talked crap, I'd up and shoot you. <sighs> then do it. Go huh? ahead. You Go heard ahead. me. Shoot me. Because he needs trigger. I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. Don't worry. I won't die. Even if this body is destroyed, my consciousness will be... Yep. There we go. Shot his head off. No! Carlos! No! No! Well, shit. Did he get to shift, at least? Q. Oh, yeah, this is right after Carlos got shot. Probably figured I would shoot. Oh no, he knew. Like he figured wrong. Oh, he knew you were gonna shoot him. No! No! Hey, cut that out, Eric. No. I won't stop. Not until you're all dead. Oh my god. Die. Why? Didn't I say already? Because one of us is the one who killed Mira. isn't it i told you it's not you're gonna have to prove it prove? i don't have any and i'm killing you wait please wait i know maybe 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 what Maybe what? Maybe if I take this helmet off, I think you'll understand then. So, your face will prove your innocence? <laughs> Fine. Take it off. The number for this is... I, I think it's... Huh? Why am I the only one here? Good question. Hey, Mira? Eric? Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane. Seven are now deceased. 
though Mira and Hugh are the only ones. Al oh, and Mira escaped. The X door has been opened and subsequently closed. Oh, okay, so this is the genocide run. Is Mira. No, no, that's a lie. The decision has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. What is? Why are seven people? A very good question. Yeah, this is the one where she killed everybody. Computer dome? You... You detest me, I suppose. You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I... I... I want to know the truth. Very well. Oh! There's multiples of him, so if he dies, he can just come back. What, what is this? Your spare bodies. My spare? They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical matter, plus other additional deeds. But why in the shape of a boy? Or a small child, rather. Ah. Oh. Then... Then I'm... Precisely. You are not human. Welp. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Because he can't die. But then me not having any memories. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? My heart. I know there's something here. It's warm. And it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. Okay, so who was I modeled he off of? struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. Oh. Who was he? He was called Sean. The same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then... I'm just... a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered 
humans may be the same. Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension. They may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebral physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? No. I... Uh, you didn't think of that. I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Who is Sean uh, to you? What do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. Oh boy. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. But not you. Are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Right? Your choices should be obvious. Press it. Or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer then retains all of the data that makes you memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If this is a trap. To press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. And if I don't press it? That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world of simulation. And if I don't In press it. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. One of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. So kind of like the transporter. Then what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted. Trace. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? Interesting. Your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have 10 seconds. Oh, nice. 10 seconds. And your future will be forever altered. 
I... I... I feel like this is a trap, so I'm not gonna press the button. It's fine. I just want you to end it. I see. Then, farewell. Deletion complete. Oh, Gab sad. And that's game over, so I guess that was the wrong choice. Okay. So, let's do this. Huh? Oh. Oh my god. Sean, you're awake. Where am I? What am? Your surgery was a success. Your illness is completely gone now. Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you alright? Oh. Uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get up? Uh, when yeah. they normally ask what well, kind of green? You gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. That's weird. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and sorry sticks. Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! Wow, and really? All the books I've ever wanted to read! You fought really hard against your illness, so you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much! to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time, and every day is fun. But... I gotta be the world's happiest kid. That's the happy ending. Live a happy virtual life. Happy end with a present on it.
Meanwhile, Uh, Zero? Yeah, it wasn't him. Why is it that I'm still on this side? Because it was a different one. In that virtual space? I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? That was one of two possibilities. I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. So books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. Oh? He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However... The boy died. Life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. Oh, yeah. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. Oh, okay. He did not despair. Wow. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. That would be and zero. that dream is finally... Well, what are you talking about? the universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. But traverse the universe? 6140 Four zero nine one. Oh, what are you saying? Be sure you remember that number. A time will come when it will be handy. Uh, thanks? No way! Oh, damn. And his head fell <laughs> off. Reminds me of the story of the girl with the ribbon. That's a game over as well. Okay, then. Oh, this again. Full disclosure, I looked that up. What? Are you serious? It can't be. No! Yeah. Please don't shoot me. That... that makes you even more suspicious! No, it's because I'm not human that I can't be. Law of Robotics. What do you mean? The Law of Robotics.
successfully removed the headache. And Schrodinger's cat. My blood? It's white. Not red. So what? Remember how Mira had some skin and blood under her nails? Yeah! Actual human tissue. Not me. Wait. Well, I guess you wouldn't because of the memory loss, but... No. No. You're right. I do remember when that. I tried to revive Mira. I took a look at her. Then you realized... It can't be me. Before Mira died, I think she did her best to resist. I see. I suppose you're right then. You didn't kill her. Oh, which means that turn his no. ire on Sigma and... It doesn't change the fact that you existing is suspicious. Oh my god. I mean, come on. Why is a robot here? Well... Zero brought me in. What the? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. <laughs> I knew it! Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Hold Please, up! Just calm down, Eric! Shut up! He didn't kill Mira. What he said is true. Then he would be able to tell us who Zero is. Yeah. No. Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is. What's the name of the bastard who locked us up and forced us to take part in this messed up game? Zero. Zero's name is Stop running your goddamn mouth! Just kill all of you! Oh, three bullets. Did he kill himself too? I'm... I'm coming to you, Mira. Oh, solves that. <laughs> 